me since I'm so light. Let me let me tone it down a little bit so that you actually can see my face. What is up? What is up, people? What is up? What is up? Today I'm a little bit earlier than normal, but that's okay. I thought three is a lucky number, so I'm gonna go live for the third time, and I'm actually liking it. I'm liking it, people. I'm really starting to get the hang of it. I'm proud of myself. Let me just give myself a tap on the shoulder. I enjoy that. So what is up? What is up, people? How are you all doing? I hope that everybody's just doing great. I hope everybody's doing fine. If not, just breathe. Let, let, let us just breathe. Listen. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. It got to feel a little bit better, right? You must feel a little bit better after that deep breath. I do. I absolutely do. Yes. So it is a great way for you just to release, bring back the mind, center yourself, and get it going. So I hope that everybody's doing great. I hope that everybody's doing fine. I'm a little bit stuttering. It's like my mouth, my tongue is stuck. I haven't been speaking the whole day. Maybe that's the problem. I don't really talk that much during the day. So the moment that I need to talk, all the organs, like my whole mouth, needs to come loose and needs to be starting. Remember, drink your water. Stay hydrated. Um, yeah. So listen, first things first. Got a second channel. It's called MCJ Live. MCJ's live. MCJ stands for my initials, which are Marilva, Clary, Johanna. So these are my names. The two last names are names of my grandmother. Her name is Clary Johanna Florence. So these names have been passed on to me. I'm very proud of those names. I carry them with a lot of pride. And that's also the reason why I started, well, actually named my second channel, MCJ Studio. I'm proud of that name. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of what I'm standing for. And MCJ Studio is actually the daily, the daily uh, happenings, events, um, thoughts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, A, B, C, and all above that you will see during that particular vlog. It's a vlog that we'll be posting one time in a week on the Sunday. So my, my, my huge, huge, huge question for you all is to go over to that side. I will put the link in the description box after this live and there you can follow me. Subscribe to the channel. Look, subscribe, watch, like, and when you're really, really a fan, if you're already a fan of what I'm producing here, you're definitely going to be a fan of what I'm producing over there. It's not just content. It's really a creative intake on everything that's happening. And what I want to share over there is anything that is not in the studio, but still flows over within each other. I noticed that for myself, I cannot turn it really off being artistic or creative. I see it happening all the time on a daily basis. And if I would have to turn that off, I would go crazy. It would not be me. So what you see over there is me just being a, 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 a extraordinary, colorful, melanated woman that has an artistic streak and a creative look on life. So there I just show you the things i share those things and i'm still wondering if i want to keep it as a second channel or that i just want to add it as a playlist to the current channel that i have um because i don't see how they are i, I just talk about totally different things on that in that particular video excuse me in that particular video 
So I'm wondering if that is going to work. You have to test it out. At least I'm going to test it out and see what works for me and also what works for the people. If not, I will bring it here to MCJ Studio and keep it here for uh, the remainder of the time. And it will be just a different playlist. So we're just going to see how it feels, how, it, how it's working. But anyway, do follow the content. Do follow the channel anyway. Do follow it anyway. It supports it makes sure that you are pushing the content with me even further in the social media stratosphere and all of that, right? I don't really have to explain it, but I do feel that it's important for people to understand that it is it, it's needed to have that support. It's really needed, right? No matter whether I would have been a very well-known person or maybe just starting in the, in, in the journey of what I want to bring to the world, it is still important to have that support because without the audience, you know, this content would not be here. And I do believe that there are other beautiful melanated people just like me and specifically melanated women just like me that are looking at themselves and they notice that they are creative, they are artsy, they, they, they have an expression in visual art or maybe an expressive art or, you know, what type of art they are interested in. And they are looking for examples. They are looking for people that look like them, speak like them, talk like them, might not think like them. You might be different in that way. Nevertheless, there is another melanated woman who's talking about her journey. And another melanated woman that is having, at least I'm, I'm really, I think I'm trying my best to show as much transparency, but definitely all the honesty that I have in my life. I don't feel that I have to share everything. And I don't believe in oversharing, it's not, Anybody want to be in TMI? No, 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 no. It's just too much TMI. Um, but I do believe in honesty. Honesty in the sense that it is kind to someone else to know what is going on and what it means. And listen, my journey doesn't have to be yours. Not at all. My journey doesn't have to be yours. My journey is not yours. It is mine. However, I definitely believe that there are points there are marks, there are segments, there are gems that you will see along the way that you're like, man, I was struggling with that too. Or I thought I was the only one. I even made a video of that. You might think that you are the only one. And there I explain, I think five things in which you can see you're really not the only one when it comes to art and being an artist. So check the one out, go to my platform, check that video out. Are you the only one? I think that's the title of the video. So go to MCJ Studio, follow it, follow the vlog, ask questions, share it, comment on it. What is it that you're doing over there? How do you organize your life? Just ask questions. If you're sitting there and you're not asking questions, how would you know? You don't have to figure everything out by yourself, you know? It really helps to be amongst people that are alike. It really helps to be amongst people that think the same way or almost the same way that you do. It is really helpful to talk to people that paved their own way. Not necessarily people that say, well, I'm gonna pave the way for the rest because I don't believe that I'm paving the way for the rest, but I'm paving my own way. And I hope that it's inspiring enough for you to do the same. I hope that it's motivating enough for you to do the same. So I don't need you to come and follow me. Not at all. I don't need you to come and follow me. Like I already said, I was not in my nose. I was scratching under my nose. But you don't have to follow me, right? I'm not your leader. Well, like Tony Robbins say, I'm not your guru. And I don't consider myself to be a guru. I, don't, I just consider myself to be someone who has a, has a talent. 
and I am a creative source with different streams and they all have a different outlet and I'm trying to manage them as good as possible, as well as possible. And sometimes it works and sometimes it don't, but I learned so much from the process. So I don't want to judge it too much. I don't want to be too much like, oh man, this is some BS. This is some, why I got to do this? Why I got to No, it's the trial and error that gives me all of the information back and make sure that when I make the next step or to make the next idea, it will be like that, like that, exactly like that. So again, subscribe, like, follow the channel. So um, another thing that I want to say is I have a podcast as well. Podcast being listened to all over the world. Um, I host it on the platform Anchor. And it's just a one woman show. For now, it has been a one woman show. And I've been doing this for two seasons. The first season was a couple of years ago. So yeah, I, I started a couple of years ago with a podcast and I was, excuse me, I feel my lens giving me a really hard time. So after this live, I'm definitely going to take it out. But um, where was I? Hmm. My uh, podcast on Anchor. So when I started out, I saw it as a, okay, looks like a fun thing to do. Let me just try it out. And it evolved itself and it evolved itself and it evolved itself. And eventually somewhere I stopped. And it was this year that I started the podcast again. But I forgot that I already created a season. And the funny thing about it is, never did I know that all of the content that was still on the platform was gaining listeners. People were listening to it. People were uh, tuning into the episodes. But at the moment when I was creating it, it was really low, like a couple of listeners. Like, I mean, I could count them on my hand. So I think in that particular moment, it discouraged me. I think it discouraged me. And I was like, well, hmm, it's not getting the traction that I really see. So no, nah. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. It's not working for me. And now my attitude is completely different. Now my attitude is more like, I know that in each episode, there can be something that can be beneficial to someone. I know in each episode, there can be a moment that somebody is like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Never looked at it that way. Right? So the podcast is now something that really grew on me and i'm very 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 excited for for the way that the podcast is now growing i have to be honest actually i think that the podcast is even growing faster than my youtube channel is it is but nevertheless will i say that the podcast is better than the youtube channel because for the people that are watching the youtube channel there are maybe two three people that are watching and that's fine that is so fine. Like I already said with the podcast, I'm having that same mentality with my YouTube channel. There can be one person who's looking at this and saying, oh, well, that's interesting. Never looked at it that way. Or someone looking at it and being like, man, I wish I had the courage. I want to ask her, but I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she won't ask me. You know, she won't answer to me. Or someone might be looking and they are like, how can I do that? How can I do that? Oh, let me not follow because I don't want to seem too thirsty when I watch each video over and over and over again. Maybe that person's going to see that I'm really thirsty for it. So what? Let me be honest about something. The way that I grew in my own skills, 
the way that I grew with my platforms, the way that I grew with my mentality is by watching people, listening to people over and over and over and over and over again. Until I even got sick of it. I was like, oh girl, you're watching this thing again. There was just something in my mind, a nagging voice that said, listen to it again. Read it again. Watch it again. And maybe I won't get it then. But taking the podcast as a example, as an example, it took me, we are now in 2021. I started that podcast, I think, in 2018 or 17. I'm, I'm not even sure. Do you see the time span between that? And it hit me on how to spread the word and promote the podcast. How I started to use the social media channels and really start to understand how I have to use each and every channel for what it is intended. That as an artist, because I, I think there's gonna be a whole nother life, but I think it's really easy for us to say that we are content creators. No, we're not. We are creatives, creative people. What I create is not the same what another creative person creates. These are not just videos that are pushed out. You have storytellers, you have video makers, you have writers, you have other so many types of artists and businesses, of course. Yes, businesses are also here, but I'm specifically focusing on my creative and artist people, artistic people. You have so many different artistic and creative people on this platform. Don't reduce yourself by saying, oh, yeah, and I'm a content creator. Oh, you, you already were. And the content that you create is art. So let's be really specific about that. Be specific about that. Say it out loud. Read it again. Hear it again. Watch it again. Speak about it again. That's how I learned. And I learned how to promote the podcast and it keeps on growing. I can see that people all over the world are listening. You know, I've now have for the second season, I have 12 podcasts, 12 episodes, not 12 podcasts, 12 episodes. <laughs> what if we're just one person? 12 podcasts? Really? Um, And I'm almost at the end. So November is going to be the last month that I'm going to produce a couple of more podcasts. We are now, now it's the 4th of November. So it's going to be uh, 11, 18, and 25. And then I'm going on a winter break. And in my next season, number three, I want to start interviewing people. I have set goals for myself. I set goals. And these are not goals like, oh, this is how I need to grow out. No, nah, this is just setting a goal of how can we bring, how can you tell the story in different ways? Because I can tell the story in a million different ways. But someone else can tell it in a way, which I then can present on my platform, that hits it just a little bit better for someone else. I understand that. And that's the reason why I named this particular life that everybody is for you, right? You're not everybody's cup of tea. People might be listening to me and they might find my voice very soothing or they might understand the perspectives. But when somebody else comes on the platform, I, I, I sincerely believe that. When somebody else comes on the platform and I have an interview with that person and that person explains their own story it's going to hit a person maybe differently because the way that they connect is on another level. It doesn't always have to be in, in, in my way. And I get it. I'm so fine with that. It's not my way or the highway. Not at all. 
if it's not my way, it can be someone else's way. And why wouldn't I take that opportunity to invite that person and say, come to my platform, come talk about it. Don't look at my ashy hands. <laughs> I just looked at it. Girl, your hands, hands are ashy. Listen, I was cooking and washing my hands. So that's why my hands are a little bit ashy. So forgive me um, for that. Why not invite that person to my platform and say, hey, come over here speak because i think that what you have to say is exactly the same the same thing that i'm saying in its essence but your packaging is just different your deliverance is different so i think that you might reach people in a different way it doesn't have to be my way i don't believe that and i don't feel looked over because of that, I don't feel that I am being pushed to the side for that, or I'm pushing myself to the side. No, absolutely not. I've always attended the podcast to be a pl platform where I share perspectives. It is a perspective. It's not the end and be all. It's a perspective. So you can disagree or agree. But one thing that I definitely know is you will be tuned for the next episode. Because it's okay for us to be in a conversation where we can say, well, girl, listen, I'm not agreeing to what it is that you're saying, but I understand. I understand your point of view. And I actually appreciate it that you are capable of being articulate enough and taking your time to explain it. Or, man, I do agree with that. And I was so thinking about that. And what an interesting way that you are taking to explain your vision and your view, right? So no, you don't have to be everybody's cup of tea. Why not work with the people, with other people of whom you can see and say, oh, wait a minute, you know, not maybe in my form, but their form might be for this. So why not work with that person so that we can collaborate and see how we can reach a lot more people together. I think that's awesome. And you still, I mean, if you still want to, if you're thinking in a way of competition or anything, yeah, you're still competing with each other because you're still artists. So from a general macro view, both of you are artists, both of you are creatives, right? You both want to produce really good work and you both want to have a great audience. But on a micro level, you're sharing so much with each other. It is not actually really competition. So I'm really looking forward for 2022 to be a year where I am uh, interviewing people. And I am going to be focusing on myself on how I, what I need to pay attention to, um, what type of conversation that is going to be, what are the topics that I want to look at. So even the programming and really the organization of it, I just want to give it a little, like it was, it was first here, you, you didn't even see it. Now it's like coming up and I just want to, Come it up a little bit. It doesn't have to go for me like from here in a way. It will go where it goes. But now from here, I'm gonna go here, right? And because through analytics, I can see how many people are listening, who is listening, what the ages are, what the countries are, the devices, the platforms that they are listening. I can even make strategies about that. I'm excited for it. I'm very excited for it. And I also think that podcasting is a very popular trend. It's coming more and more, but I don't think that more people are getting into it. I don't think more people are getting, enough people are getting into it. And enough um, of our creative world is in that space. Yes, here and there we will find people speaking about museums and the art industry and all that jazz. 
But where do you find a podcast about an artsy, melanated woman? I know that I found my niche. I know I'm the niche. So only for that reason alone, I already know I'm not everybody's cup, cup of tea. I'm fine. So fine with it. <laughs> I'm so cool and fine with it that I'm not everybody's cup of tea simply because I speak about my experiences and also the things that I'm witnessing from a perspective of a melanated a woman of color, arts and creative person. Yeah, they're here and there, there's some podcasts, but not many. So there's enough space for us here, people. There's enough space for you. If this might not be the channel, if you were ever thinking about like, I do want to create content and I do believe I have a voice and I have great topics to talk about. I don't know if YouTube is the thing, think about podcasting. Think about that. Go dig into it. Go examine it. Go experiment with it. Do that. Right? Let it be a way for you to explore and not just sit on one particular platform and just do this. Well, wait a minute. This is necessary because when you do this, then you see the goal ahead of you. But when you do too much of this, then you can lose sight of where you are and who's around you that can maybe say, well, listen, I see that you're focused, but when you maybe open up the focus, you get to see more people alike. So don't too, do not do too much like this. See that little people go more like this, right? Open up to it, open, open up to it. I'm not gonna make this life really long because I do have other things that I need to do. Your girl needs tomorrow. Okay, I need to do some work. Um, the holidays are coming, and I really want to have my web shop set up really well. And I have to stop promoting for it as well. Put it in my strategy. So uh, some work needs to be done for that as well. And that means that I won't be having a, a an hour live like I did this week. But don't worry, I will be back. Excuse me, maybe tomorrow. Um, or maybe on the Saturday. Maybe one of those days. Maybe. Who knows? If you're subscribed to the channel and you click the notification bell, then you will never miss a notice. You don't have to guess when because you will get an email or it will pop up on your notification on your phone saying that I'm on the live or I posted a video, you will never go without, no. So before I leave, I'm gonna tell you, subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it, watch it again, listen to it again, watch it again, listen to it again. Get the information out of it that you need. And if you, if something is uncertain or unclear, don't walk away with this unclear, uncertain feeling. Type the question in. Approach the person in a respectful way. In a respectful way. Approach the person and say, hey, I watched, listened, or read this. And this segment to me comes across as or is unclear because could you explain you might never know what type of answer you will, will get out of it and it might be the answer that can take the 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 the, the uncertainty away because a lot of people are walking around hearing reading listening or seeing something and they're like oh i'm unclear about that and then they torture themselves by walking around in that uncertainty I'd rather ask you 
and just get the answer whether I like it or not. Then to walk in, in uncertainty and have that be such an agonizing feeling for myself. Well, I just could, just could have asked, right? Just could have asked. But that's a whole nother, whole nother life. Anyway, I'm gonna say thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, people. I will see you soon. And have a great, great night. If you're on the other side of the world, have a great day. Bye, y'all.